we know that we are having different variations of recursion indirect recursion direct recursion nested recursion excessive recursion tail recursion and so on in our previous videos we have already discussed direct recursion indirect recursion nested recursion and excessive recursion with the proper example in this session we are discussing another example of excessive recursion so we are going to give the second example of excessive recursion and that is a very common problem and uh, that is a problem of towers of hanoi so what is that what is that problem towers of hanoi look at here see we are having three pegs are there we are having five disks it is not mandatory that always will be having five disks we can have three disks four disks seven disks and so on here the value of n is equal to 5 so n is a say number of disks say so these pegs have got named as source auxiliary or a or you can call it as intermediate peg and destination or d so this is my s this is my a and this is my d so the condition here is that i cannot place larger disk on a smaller radius disk so that is one condition and and what is the target target here is that i want to move all the disks from the source peg to the destination peg considering intermediate or auxiliary pegs in between and with two conditions condition number one is that i told you earlier that is the disk with the larger radius cannot be placed on a disk with the smaller radius that is the condition number one and condition number two is that at a time only one disk can be moved from one peg to another peg so these are the two conditions and we are supposed to solve this problem moving n number of disks from the source peg to the destination or target peg so it has to be solved here so now this particular problem we have solved with an algorithm and obviously there is a recursive algorithm with the excessive recursion type or variation okay now see the algorithm has been written in this way algo tower this is my n that is the number of disks uh, are there and then we are having number of disks actually we are moving and then we are having this s that is the source peg name and there is a auxiliary peg name and there is a destination peg name now my humble request to you don't concentrate on s or a or d letters just think if you consider this one as the second argument because it is the number of disks we are going to move okay so it is the first argument the second argument will be can be having the name like s or a or d but always remember the second argument is the source the third argument can call can can have the value like say s or a or d but that is the intermediate peg and the third argument will be the destination peg so whatever has been written whether s or a or d don't bother for that always consider the argument number so the first argument number will be denoting the number of disks you are moving from the peg which is written in the first uh, sorry second argument and to the peg written uh, as the fourth argument and keeping the third argument as the intermediate or auxiliary so please remember this one then only you can understand this okay now they are telling if i if i'm supposed to move only one disk at a time so if it is n is equal to 1 if it is so then i can write print source to destination and return so that means one disk because n is equal to 1 so one disk will be moved from will be moved from source to destination peg return otherwise n minus 1 number of disks will be moved from source to auxiliary keeping destination as intermediate that means out of 5 if i can move four disks from source to auxiliary keeping the destination as intermediate obviously it cannot be done because only one disk can be moved at a time so that's why it is a recursion called tower so again it will be called again to get the solution okay then move the uh, move one the disk from the source to the destination if i move four disks from source to auxiliary keeping destination as intermediate then in that case the last disk can easily be moved to the destination so that's why they are telling that print 
move disk from source to destination again call tower to move those n minus 1 number of disks which were in the auxiliary which were in the because the first or the second argument means the source peg name so which was in the auxiliary to the destination keeping the source as intermediate so those four disks which were there in the auxiliary will be moved from auxiliary to the destination keeping the source as intermediate so this is my recursive function you see the tower function has been called twice from its body so it is a good example of excessive recursion so let let me go for a tracing i'm not going for a very big value for n otherwise this recursion tree will have a huge depth okay so level will be uh, number of levels will be high so that's why i have taken only 3 so tower 3 s a d so tower 3 s a d is 3 is equal to 1 no so i shall come uh, come down to this so tower 2 because 3 is n so it will be 2 tower 2 then s d a so tower 2 s d a so s d a okay then it will call this one it will call this one so now it is having this one so print s d so s to d and then 2 a s d so 2 a s d so i have written this one okay now but at first it, it, it will be executed okay now when it is tower 2 s d a when it is calling tower 2 so tower 2 s d a when it is coming like this so 2 is not equal to 1 so it will come down to this so call tower what about this tell me 2 minus 1 what is there what is that 1 so 1 okay is da so what is the coming the first argument will be the first argument third argument sorry it is the second second will come as second fourth argument will be coming as uh, third and so they will get swapped okay so i shall go for s and d and a will be swapped okay so it will be called and then print second argument third argument second argument fourth argument second argument fourth argument so second argument fourth argument sa and then we are calling this one as that is the third second and fourth argument so we are having this third second and fourth argument in this way i have written okay now see when when it one this one will be called so it is one so it will print s to d s to d means second and fourth so what is the second and fourth that is the sa so it will sorry second and fourth means what that is the sd it will be calling this one and its body will be its body will be s to d what is s to d second and fourth so second and fourth body will be s to d okay so let me check once so body will be s to d yes so that is the second and fourth what about the second and fourth i am getting the second and fourth is this one sa so it will be called and what about the this one this one is nothing but this so n minus 1 so n is 2 so n minus 1 is 1 and now it is nothing but the third argument second argument fourth argument so third argument second argument and fourth argument and when it will be called then one is matching so it will come like this so what is this that is s to d what is s second argument fourth argument so second argument fourth argument in this way i've written i think you can easily do the rest for this uh, for the right subtree of the recursion tree so please don't concentrate on s a d these levels are not the main thing the things are that the parameter position number whether it is the second third or fourth argument so that is the main issue so accordingly i've written all this now how these instructions will get executed how the functions will be called at first it will be calling this one so it will be calling this one so this this thing will be printed at first so first it will print this then it will print this then it will print this so now if we move in this way so it will print this we can do the rest in this way okay so we have written everything and i have marked the 
sequences in which this this uh, moves are getting executed and so these are the seven moves we require these are the seven moves we require for transferring three number of disks from source peg to the destination peg considering auxiliary peg as intermediate so this is my recursion tree this is my output obtained following this very algorithm so it's my request to you all please stress it again yourself and get the full confidence and in the exam copy obviously write this algorithm with this records uh, recursion tree and with this particular outputs okay so that is the second example i have discussed for excessive recursion type so in the next video we shall go for the tail recursion so what is the tail recursion and what is the respective examples we will be discussing that one please watch that video also because that is in the continuation of this very topic that is recursion variations and thanks for watching this video